to Sterling Bank BLC. Uh, and I understand we are meeting the executives, executives across different cadres of management. And I was asking a few of my colleagues a while ago that what could have brought people of this kind of combination together? And somebody said it's about dreams. And when I said dreams, we all sleep, we all wake, and we all have dreams. Well, are we talking about that kind of dream or those kind of dreams? And then I was told that it's not that mundane dream. It's the kind of dream that you have to fuel with vision, passion, dedication, discipline, and commitment. And looking through the faces here, I realized that these are people that have fueled their dreams with these ingredients. A round of applause for all of us, please. Let's quickly get on to business and we introduce the people that are making this work. Uh, we would like to introduce first and foremost the managing director, Sterling Bank PLC. Uh, for those who may not know, Mr. Yemi Adeola is a professional banker, a consummate one at that, a lawyer by training, and someone with well over 30 years of industrial experience. So he knows what he is about when it comes to business management. A round of applause for you. <laughs> we have sitting exactly to Mr. Adiola's left, none other than the Chief Finance Officer of Sterling Bank PLC. A quick glance at him belies that title. You look at a very young man of hard work, uh, and smart work at that. Mr. Obaka Suleiman, you may take over. <laughs> to Mr. Adeola's right is Mr. Amechi Ndili. Or Ndili, let me pardon if I know that the name. Uh, for those who do not know him, he is the Chief Executive Officer of Landstone Group. And Landstone Group, what do they do at the They are a management consultancy firm. Mr. Amechi, a round of applause for you. <laughs> and we'll also quickly move over to recognize some of our judges and important dignitaries here. Uh, permit me to disrupt the flow by introducing first none other than a young Nigerian who has been at the forefront of pushing entrepreneurship. He should also be giving lectures in brand promotions. He's someone that embraced his dream at a very early stage of his career. I'm talking of none other than that man that is promoting arguably one of Nigeria's foremost labels. He is Uti Nanji. Out as well. I move over quickly to Mr. Bank Kole Williams. He's an associate consultant and writer at Edgewood. At uh, Execution. Yeah. Round of applause for you. Then, the battle goes to Mr. Steve Harris. He is the Chief Executive Officer, a business driver, and a driver of processes as well. The CEO Execution. <laughs> I also have here the Principal Consultant at HT Limited. He is none other than Feyi Kemi Ujunuga. Also present is the group head retail loan Sterling Bank PLC. That is a woman with a lot of mind, Mrs. Kike Kuponi. Round of applause. She will also be serving as a judge on this panel. And also have uh, Shino Atilola, the group head strategy and communications, also serving as a judge. I also have here Mr. Taiwo Yusuf from Mary Stems. Mary Stems at the forefront of management consultancy and investment in the country. Please, a round of applause for Mr. Taiwo <laughs> Having gone through this list, the list is actually endless as other people come on, we will introduce them. Let's quickly go into the business of the day. And the first item on our menu is actually the welcome address. The welcome address to put us on the same page as to why we are here, and it will be delivered by none other than the head that carries all the weight, the head that creates the direction for the business called Sterling Bank PLC. Please, I invite Mr. Emi Adiola to give us the welcome Thank you. 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 Thank you.
gathering comprising a rich mix of entrepreneurs who can aptly be described as the talented and promising young entrepreneurs in Nigeria. This event marks the climax of a meeting point between Sterling Bank's commitment to fulfilling its social responsibility on one hand and the dreams nurtured by members of the public on the other. Today, we gather to celebrate and honor those who not only dared to dream, but were courageous enough to share those dreams with a trustworthy partner, the one customer bank, Sterling Bank. I'm particularly pleased to be associated with aspiring entrepreneurs who represent the future of SMEs, known all over the world as the backbone of any economy. They not only provide employment and income opportunities to a large number of people, but are also at the forefront of technological innovation and export diversification. You will agree with me that the growth of SMEs is becoming increasingly crucial to the world's socio-economic growth and advancement. At a time when the world we live in has progressively become self-oriented and exploitative, many find themselves making resolutions and harboring dreams that end up unfulfilled, owing to the absence of genuine partners with the right resources to help in actualizing such dreams and resolutions. However, I'm proud to say that with Stalin Bank, the story is different, given our unwavering commitment to enriching lives. To our contestants today, I want you to know that the sky is not the limit. In terms of funding opportunities, mentoring by some of Nigeria's finest and most successful entrepreneurs, and the chance to realize the future you have always dreamed of. That said, I will quickly share some thoughts with you, not just the contestants, but everyone in this room, because I believe we can all benefit from some of these thoughts. Have you ever wondered why some people always get it right, whereas others fail? It's important to know the why. Why some achieve incredible feats in spite of tremendous difficulties. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, a man is but the product of his thoughts, what he thinks he becomes. Some of the greatest minds that the world has, has seen have had surprising, unbelievable beginnings that many will never associate with them. You've all heard of Thomas Edison, the most prolific inventor in history. He was considered unteachable as a youngster. Albert Einstein, the greatest thinker of our time, was told by a school teacher that it will never amount to much. The difference between average people and achievers is their perception and response to failure. It's not how many times you fail, because we are going to fail, but it's your ability to come up each time you fall. There are many ways to be a winner. But there is really only one way to be a loser. To fail and look beyond the failure, the way I put it to my staff here, is that you are not a failure yet until you start putting the blame on some other people's feet. Is Mr. Y who caused it? Is Ms. X who caused it? No. Each time you fail, know that you are the boss. You are the architect of your own misfortune 
and you must fix it. And it's not always difficult to fix it. But that refusal to fix it, that is the difference between success and failure. Never reject yourself. Let me wish you all the best and look forward to celebrating your success as together we build our nation one positive idea at a time. You have risen above the ashes of mediocrity and that is why you are here today. You've taken the audacious step to pursue your dreams and choosing the right partner to work with, Stalin Bank. For this, I thank you. Before I do the recognition, let me share this with you, because it will also help you. When you put the carrot in hot water, and you boil it for a while, what happens eventually becomes very soft, isn't it? Yes. Whereas when you put the egg in hot water and you boil it, what happens eventually? It's hardening. When you put coffee in hot water, what happens? What happens? So it is whatever you want to make out of your own hot water that you make of that hot water. May your hot water be like that of coffee so that the aroma is such that everybody says, can I have some coffee, can I have some coffee, can I have some coffee? We shall be beacons of light to these budding entrepreneurs. The investors, we shall oil the engine of these initiatives. The judges, who have the arduous task of grading the participants and the gentlemen of the press who are saddled with the sacred duty to share this story with the rest of the world. I say thank you to all for your attention. Thank you very much, sir, for that wonderful piece of inspiration. I picked one element towards the end and it says never reject yourself. And that's probably why you guys are here today. You are in the business of projecting yourself, your dreams and ambitions. And before we go for the further session, may we then call on each and every one of us to project ourselves by introducing ourselves. We're going to start from the extreme right here and then we go all around the table. Thank you very much. Please, may we have you, madam? Yes. Hello, everyone. My name is Clara Hakim. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel Moore. Thank you very much, Daniel. Good morning, everybody. My name is Itunu Kamotai. Itunu, you're welcome. I think we should encourage ourselves by applauding. <laughs> uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Kerry Dede Samuel, Managing Director of the Global Enterprises Limited. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ahamef Nago. You can call me Afam. I represent five minutes. Good morning, everybody. My name is Wazir Estipegin. The person promoting the argument for Bacon said, 
the thinking is actually also important because even when the compass tells you that you are moving in the right direction, until you see the beacon, you don't know whether you are going to your destination or not. You don't know how far or near you are to your destination. So we are going to have the compass and the beacon come right into this hall. And it's not going to be physical compass and beacon. It's actually going to be in the form of a speech. The speech will be delivered by none other than the group head, strategy and communication, standing down PLC. Why? Because it's been part and parcel of the preparation of the flour, the baking of the cake, and the dicing of the cake. He will be speaking to us concerning why we are here, how we got here, and where we should be headed from here. At the right time, we would have that presentation. But while we are with that presentation, it might be nice to share some other ideas with ourselves. First and foremost, I envy you guys. For a very long time, I've been dreaming about so many things. But maybe I've not been able to put those elements of dedication, commitment, and discipline to play. I want to dream that by age, so, 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 I will have written three novels. I once dreamt that by stage so so, I would have completed two masters and a PhD. And all of those remained in the pipeline. Why? Because I probably am not as special as you guys. But I am going to tap into the anointing that you have brought. And I will start working that dream to bring those yet unfulfilled ones to reality. So watch out, we just might meet somewhere at the top. I think it's time for us to go into that beacon and compass presentation. The one I talked so much about a while ago. And if he's ready, may we have Mr. Shino Atilola to talk to us about the synopsis of this project and why we are here. Thank you very much. unemployed Nigerians and some of them are not employed. I have several of them with dreams, goals and aspirations. And we ask ourselves how can we enrich the lives of these young ones? And how can we help them fulfill their dreams? From that background, we now ask for submission of business plan. Within two to three weeks of this particular request on the social media. We have more than 1,000. We have 700 plus entries before the cut off date. After the cut off date, we have additional about 400 to 500. From this 700, with the help of our external consultant, and she has done a very good work. Can I please give the round? <laughs> She's IFC trained, and she worked closely with LBS and EDC. On that basis, we are able to shortlist the top 50. We train them in EDC for two days on how to improve on writing their business plan. And we asked them, they will give them one week or so to look at that business plan and improve on it. After submission, a process also of shortlisting, and we are able to have the 18 gathered here today. 
And the question is, what next? What are we here today? They are going to present to us seven minutes. Their dreams, their goals, and their spiritual and their business. I'll be able to make up our mind. We have mentors here that are willing to mentor you over a period of time and see how you grow in those dreams. People are here that are investors that are willing to invest in your dreams. And also the bank is also willing to give grants to those that are here also. Uh, we are going to present for seven minutes, like I said. There are going to be questions. And we are going to evaluate based on your presentation, the contents, your look and feel, the way you present, your dreams, the feasibility and viability of your business plan, and your ability to articulate those business plans in a convincing manner. And based on that, we will rank all of you. After the ranking today, which is going to be based over 100, there's an extra 10 mark score that we are going to throw out to the entire community for them to have a vote, a call. We want to have a summary of your presentation, your slides, and your presentation to us here, and people can vote for you. That's 10 marks. But your presentation here is 100 marks. So after your presentation here, we want to weigh everything to be over 90. I want you to declare so that you know. And so what I mean here carries 90% of the 100% weight. Why what other people are going to do outside of these things is just 10%. So you know where you should pay critical attention. I wish all of you the very best of luck. And I pray in two weeks' time, maximum, we will be presenting the best of the best in Ibadan. Because we have an event in Ibadan titled Get Ready for Work. Get Ready for Work means we are preparing you for the next stage. And that's where we are going to present the best thing we are going to give grants to. I want to announce to you your, your uh, mentors. I want to announce to you those that are willing to invest in your dreams. So I wish you all the very best of you, and I pray we all enjoy today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Main presentation. Presentation by the contestants, by the participants. But we're not going to uh, let people be part of other people's presentations. So we're going to have it as particularly individualistic as possible. So we're going to have individuals come out, present their plans, present their business plans to the judges, and we will rate while others are not part of that session. So right now, we're going to have the contestants move out. Everyone, no exception, they will be bringing you in one after the other. Thank you very much.